It's a pace uh, put in the unmarked uh, number 11. That is Joseph Banda, who is uh, something like a menace. Someone who always troubles a team. A bit of a push there. And a foul has been given to the Zambian side. We are live on uh, your Kosafa TV. Get in touch with us on uh, Facebook. That is a Kosafa under 17. On Twitter, we will respond. And on Instagram, of course. This is a youth tournament. You've got to include the grams. And uh, very awkward angle. Is he going to go for goal in Keller? Or is he going to drive to his busy teammate? That is Miguel Chaiwa. Now, good run. A ball laid in, but the contact was uh, not that convincing and there was not enough uh, power. A good turn by the Malawian uh, trying to catch them on a, on a break there on the counter. That is uh, Chifundo Umpasi. Ball on Zambian side, Richard Ngoma finding Rixin Ngambi. Two across uh, played in and ball with Malawi to McDonald's Chiwanda pumped up into the opponent's half still in position of Zambian side that is Richard Ngoma and then he takes on the player with a drop of a shoulder they put in a cross and a shot taken but a, a blocked by the captain the Andrew Lamag who ushers the team quite well coming from uh, the back as a center back <laughs> coach already looking at the time and uh, trying to calculate the number of touches maybe his players have had on the ball on the ball in the past uh, two minutes ball is thrown in Zambia on the ball, but uh, Malawi inside that is just giving away many balls, especially in the danger zone. The likes of Cliff Mbewe, you do not uh, give Zambian squad the chance to have control over the ball because once they have their ducks on a row, it will be tougher for you to stop them. The ball is still on the air, no combining of touches. Everyone is trying to find the other. Played long and cleared. Played by Onismas Chipanga alongside the Miguel Chaiwa. Captain strikes it long. There's a bit of a push there coming from Chifundo Umpasi fouling Eric Makungu. Well, keeper is already down from a foul coming from Chifundo Umpasi just bouncing off the keeper and not intending to go for the ball then he puts on a, a face that is a shock at what had just happened to him but probably the landing was a bit um, uncomfortable for Eric Makungo well I'm now coach gets the opportunity to share some uh, views or instructions with his players without them focusing and two areas that is so they will then listen to the coach what he said well, when the Zambian coach also Chilufia George giving strict instruction to his players on what they need to do and 
how best they, they can do it. It's just uh, before 10 minutes of the game and already the coaches have called their players to come to them and just give instruction. A ball played longer to behind the defense of Malawi. Captain Lamek forever in the thick of things. Forever in the thick of things and uh, always protest, contesting for that ball. That is Andrew Lamek. Now we also can see that the flags are flying fast now and uh, the wind speed uh, may have uh, increased the teams uh, should they start uh, playing high balls here in, uh, at Geldendale Stadium at the Nelson Mandela Bay Municipality must say the, the pitch has hosted a number of games but still intact now the Zambian on the front foot here seems to find his teammate but the uh, flag uh, was raised by the assistant ref on the right hand side of the pitch just uh, making sure that nobody runs off with a stolen kiss, rather a goal. A ball uh, was played along to find Chifundo Mpasi, who, who finds McDonald's Chiwanda. Chiwanda chips it over, but cleared off the line by the Zambian tall man. No, again a ball on Richard Ngoma, skillful left-footed player, gets the support in the run, coming from his city mate Julius and trying to take a shot, but it didn't seem to come right on a forced corner by Charlie Mumba. Trying to protect this man as the defense of uh, Malawi, the likes of Cliff Mbewe, Andrew Lamek. Number of corners are sitting on two already in favor of Zambia. Ball laid in. Now, can he take a shot? But uh, it all goes over the crossbar. Uh, maybe a wall pass would have been a better solution. Or option. But a player is in motion, so. It's uh, not easy to find your team.
Call me. Another one throws a kiss to their nation and says, We have got the lead. Joseph Banda is the goal scorer. And here's this man who created that foul. It is Zambia 1 and Malawi nil. Now, you have a, a team in Malawi that is a, a big bullet. And some of the players coming from that uh, development structure, the likes of Lombe Mutale, some of the players that play in that league. Now, we know that the pandemic was upon us, but... Uh, a lot of activities had to be put on hold. I mean, if you check on the Malawian Football League, nothing has resumed yet. Everything is still on a standstill. It's just uh, trying to decrease the numbers of uh, uh, people that may have tested positive. Uh, 2019, the league was concluded with uh, 30 games played by each team and uh, a big bullet yes it popped up to be the number one in that league that is super league of malawi now a ball on the left hand side by mcdonald chiwanda up against julius the ball with uh, Onismas Chibango plays his keeper. Pressure has been put on the keeper again uh, by that man, Chifundo Mpasi. Not giving the keeper room to play the ball at all, forever putting pressure on him. Now a ball on the centre on Julius Gumwenda. He finds Rixin Ngambi. Malawi in the centre of the park sharing the ball. With uh, James Chomba. A ball played over the defence and a good first touch coming from Joseph Panda. But a good call by the assistant ref. Oh. Another offside awarded to the Malawian side. Now, a pass that was just too slow. And Malawi could have profited from that because he had made it there. He had arrived on the ball. Just needed to just add an extra touch. That is Timothy in Yasulu. But he went for a first kick. Decisions we take sometimes. And when we review them later, like if I had added another touch, it would have been a different story. Now, a decisive play. This ball is played short, building up from the back. Now, the numbers do not allow the Malawian side to press because most of them are sitting back and yet they are trailing behind. It's still early in the match, 15 minutes of play. If they were to add more numbers but going forward when they pressing, they would catch the Zambian side on a very simple break or a giveaway of some sort when you are playing pressure. Ball played to Dominic Kanda. Back to Miguel Chaiwa and Lombe Mutale. Launches a long one to find Rixin Ngambi. Now tips it over the keeper. And I can tell you one thing is that the Zambian sides know what to do and know when to do it. This is Rixin Ngambi. 
a well-timed run, a well-timed pass, building from the back. Now look at how long that ball was played from their own half and going for those laces was a smart idea. Keeper had popped out of his line. Now, young man Lombe Mutale plays it behind the defenders and they came, came chasing. But the keeper came off the line. Well, that's what keepers have to do. But Ritsin Ngambi's level of alertness. Now, Zambian side on the front foot again, having the ball. Now they're getting into the box. Is there going to be a cross? But uh, blocked by... Ngambi. Score as it stands in the 17th minute it is Zambia 2 and Malau 0. No. No. If Zambia Malawi keeps on giving away chances like this to Zambia, they will definitely see themselves considering a huge number of goals. Well, the patience is there on the Zambian side. They're now passing each other in their own half, in their own box. Again, launching long behind the defenders, trying to find Rickson Ngambi, Joseph Banda, one of the paciest players in the match. Well, Lowy, with a set piece here, maybe something from the training grounds could uh, suffice by Lamek playing it too high, but the flick is there, cleared off the box by the Zambian defenders, that is uh, Onismas Chipango. Early goals, early goals will save you a lot because you control the tempo and the pace of the game. It's just rotate the ball from one side to the other keep the passes short here's a man who whipped in across uh, behind the center back that is Lombe Mutale still on the ball trying to uh, find Richard Ngoma who tucks in with his left foot but his pass is really not a convincing pass again ball in the Zambian side or position brother Julius Kamwenda Full back uh, playing his second match in this uh, Kosafa Under 17 Championship is uh, taking that set piece. That is Teddy Kumalo. Did very well in the previous encounter. Was an up and down player and able to just preserve his energy the best way that he can. And uh, taking into consideration that uh, it was his first first game and they, they brought him out they then introduced uh, a Brian Mate to try and arrest Teddy Kumalo I mean if you look at the substitutions that Zambia had also Rixin came out Richard Ngoma was also substituted and Frank Shileshe came on uh, Julius Kamwenda was one of the players that uh, w went out uh, and Aaron Piri was introduced the South African side watching this game would really be worried at how did we draw with a Malawian team why did it have to be us who play a draw a two-all draw is what the 90 minutes uh, resulted at. Now, ref uh, rushing to one of the Malawi players to just try and see what could be the challenge. 
That is Samson Zakeyu. No, no. This is uh, the number 19. Uh, apologies there. That is Chifundo Mpasi, who is uh, on the ground. The troubling one, uh, forever putting pressure. No, coach uh, sharing information and say uh, calm down stay calm my boys and uh, as things stand Zambia get the upper hand here because they would have registered two wins if they walk away with a win here against Malawi so South Africa will drop to number two with four points and uh, Malawi inside still with one point having played against South Africa and drew the Angola yet to register a win. There seem to be a dragon taking out the likes of uh, even took his sock off. That is Miguel Shaiwa. Ball with uh, innocent sequence. Well, the refs can't seem, don't seem to be picking up the foul throws that are just showing out here. And uh, a handball, they quick to pick it up. That is the assistant ref on the far side of the field. The sock is back on. The boot is back on. That is Miguel. The captain himself. Is not yet out. The young man wants to lead the team to its next victory or its next final, should we say? No, Malawi trying to combine and sends it to their striker that is Chifundo Mpasi the ball played into the box trying to find the Chifundo who's putting putting pressure on Onismas Chipango no. rotation of the ball from the Zambian side again Lombe Mutale uh, adding that a uh, pace that we know him for and uh, finding his teammate uh, Joseph Banda who is now then uh, fouled uh, by the Malawian if a card is not shown here then we are going to be worried as in what happened but there was a pulling here and a reach out well that is Cliff Mbewe registering his second yellow card of the tournament previous match he had then registered his first yellow and uh, becoming a danger man for his team becoming a target man for the opposition No, it's a water break for the teams to perhaps catch a bit of a breather and sip some water. Malawi, maybe the coach will dish out instructions better when they are closer to him with the temperature up on 22 degrees Celsius. And uh, the wind is a bit uh, helping here the fourth official monitoring that but the set piece coming from this man Joseph Banda the technique the movement of the ball and the steps he took to just take that set piece it is a one two then kick give it direction type of a set piece now a man that profits from errors that is Rickson Ngambi nicely pinpointed by Lombe Mutale
tell you one thing the coach will tell them to remain calm remain cool you are in charge you are on the lead control the tempo of this match we are 25 minutes in it is soon going to be Uh, water breaks I've ever seen in any match that the coach would take longer than the allocated time uh, a number of cuts are uh, just on one with the Malayan side and nothing on the Zambian side ball is uh, played again to Joseph Banda who cuts it back in and the flag is up the flag is up yes there were two men unmarked and a good call by the assistant ref on this side of the park you have a Cliff Mbewe man who has a yellow card from the previous match and collected one again on uh, this match that is Cliff Mbewe seems to have a a neck a problem busy trying to stretch him there and maybe the ice will do but uh, the ref says hey, just step out for a minute um, catch a breather on the side of the field and then uh, come back in a few seconds when you feel okay from uh, that knock Andrew Lamec will be taking this uh, one and uh, going long. Sand inside. Teddy Kumalo wins that one. And uh, another man down with the Zambian side. Seem to be a knock on the knee. Samson Zakeu just uh, comforting him there and saying just uh, sorry mate ball played long and a late late drop of his foot and it dropped off his shin coming from the knee all the way down to the ankle and he can feel the pain hence he went down immediately after he kicked the ball now he's asked to crawl over the line and get uh, the necessary um, medical assistance ball in the center to Teddy Kumalo who wants to find Joseph Banda who pulls a skill or two to get out of that one and now you have Zam inside on the front foot here Putting pressure, that is a uh, Shali Mumba. Head by Innocent Sequese. Kuten coming from Shali Mumba. Plenary, uh, planning, planning by the coach, just uh, grasping everything and uh, taking all in. 
that they've scored. Ball poorly cleared by the centre back the, of the Zambian side. That is a Lombe Mutale, the right full back. Mutale again trying to go for that long ball. Now, poor communication, rather, should we say, a corner will be given to Malawi. No number of corners. Zambia have three, and uh, Malawi. This is uh, their first corner. Goal, goal play long, and keeper comes out. Then he grabs and lets go. He dropped it the first time. Just needed to have someone right in front of Charlie Chifundo Mpasi. I haven't seen much of a Stevie Banda and a James Chomba pushing forward to add numbers in the opponent's half and maybe try to score a goal. No. Brings himself a throw in. That is a smart move coming from Lombe Mutale. Bola played long. Trying to find Rickson and Gambi. Teddy Kumalo on the ball finds Joseph Banda. Richard Ngoma loses it there. The first touch was a bit of a challenge. And the throw in has been uh, awarded to the Zambian side. Who are in search of a third goal, of course, and the flag is up uh, to just stop the movement of Richard Ngoma. side <laughs> must say it must be frustrating for the young man that he's caught on offside three times already that is Richard Ngoma the number of offside sitting on six is Zambia Malawi two ball cleared to the opposition's half but uh, there's no one Now, Mohamed Chiwanda attempted to play long, but Miguel Shaiwa is not allowing that to happen. Now, Malawi has the ball and they try to get across into the box. A nice outswinger, but. Uh, the wind did not favor to drive to drive it back. The goal kick for Zambia. Ball played along to Joseph Banda, who's on the bike and puts his body in front. And Banda is on a good chase here. Almost a goal, an own goal. <laughs> it almost resulted into an own goal there. That is Andrew Lamag and the communication from the keeper. Communication from the keeper was not the greatest. Andrew Lamag should have went for a clearance than to have a first touch. Now a ball played in with not with not enough direction, rather. No. <laughs> some tricky, some skillful moves coming from a Joseph Banda. A ball with uh, Joseph Banda. Now, look 
at this run coming from Joseph Banda and Lamak with his outer foot almost scored at home. Keeper had already came off his line and uh, there was a lack of communication because Keeper would have uh, easily picked that ball up. Ball position wise, uh, Zambia are way ahead of uh, the Malawian side, seeing there a huge difference with 66 in favor of uh, Zambia. And goal attempts on three, and the scoreline reflects the same goal attempts. Shots on target have been taken, Zambia too. Malawi haven't uh, tested the likes of uh, Eric Makungu. Now, again, Zambian side uh, trying to force Malawi out of their own half. The Malawian side is playing like a team that. Uh, that, uh, that was uh, playing a day before and uh, they had uh, sufficient rest and the coach uh, did say that uh, they had uh, they had sufficient training now a yellow card will come out here with a showing of stats coming from Chifundo Mpansi who is also on a yellow card coming from the previous match so basically Chifundo is sitting on two yellow cards the striker there in the Malawian side already bringing uh, making a sub to just try and add a player who will make a difference in this match Paul with uh, Joseph Panda Panda having a bit of a tough time there coming from Yako Chitambea this man uh, McDonald Chiwanda would also be worried that uh, now a cross uh, coming uh, from save uh, by the keeper a cross coming from Lombe Mutale uh, Mutale unable to head it the opposite direction now Teddy Kumalo second match Ball by Charlie Mumba uh, played to Miguel Shaiwa Lombe Mutale cuts it back inside and uh, it's won by the Malawian side again Zambia Charlie Mumba finds his teammate Julius Kamwendo Malawi with the ball going wide Teddy Kumalo forever cool calm and collected never panics and he finds his teammate Richard Ngoma switch of play coming to this man who created the second goal through his long range pass behind the defenders uh, McDonald Chiwanda Rebounds and rebounds after the other. Now a substitution has to be made here, uh, bringing out innocent Sikwese and uh, bringing on the number 18 of the Malawian side. Well, tactical sub and uh, coach <laughs> just uh, giving him a, a high five there that Islam Mahiwa come on and uh, try be solid on that uh, side that is uh, Islam Chaiwa ball played long to find Chifundo Mpasi well uh, if it's hot in the kitchen, the least that the coach can do is uh, bring you out. And players down, and that is a uh, Joseph Chomba. 
I think he went down with some sort of a back pain he's uh, experiencing and the deep hit spray now looks there's a throw in here and uh, from behind uh, that is a uh, Julius Kumwenda knocked him with his knee rather and uh, not picked up by the ref which is a uh, quite strange because he's also in the in the closest range or closest view of that incident now a goal kick to be started from the back by Eric Makungu he goes short to Miguel Chaiwa Nice uh, passes, good distance in between, but uh, the marking is uh, just giving them more room to play with the ball. They can't seem to get out of that uh, uh, troubled area. The lack of pressing coming from Malawi is really going to make it difficult for them to convert into a goal. Now, Eishibobo. Menu unleashes passes. That is Lombe Mutale was trying to find his teammate Charlie Mumba. Ball played long into the center. Won by Dominic Kanda. Oh, Dominic makes a turn and finds his teammate Rickson Ngambi who makes a through ball but uh, upside flag was uh, put up already. Not a good timed run by that man on the far side Richard Ngoma now this is a through pass but if you look at the line that is not well executed there, you have uh, Cliff Mbewe who had actually blocked the offside. So Zambia should have gotten one. Now a strike coming from this man, Joseph Banda, had a clear chance, enough time to prepare himself. And look at what he does. Look at what he does. Keeper says, the ball was uh, spinning, so he couldn't reach uh, for it. This man, Joseph uh, Banda, had enough time to prepare for it and lace it, direct it, goal. I must say the experience of the goalkeeper is a bit of a question mark for me. And the defenders, the likes of uh, Cliff Mbewe, Andrew Lamek, are just uh, the weakest links because the man was uh, all by himself. There, that is Joseph Banda, and he scored his second goal of the match. Now, Malawi inside will be going into the change room, three goals down. Now, Now, uh, four minutes edit time will be. Now, uh, look at that shot. Look at that comfortable lacing it. But let's give credit to the pass coming from that side. A good drive coming from Charlie Mumba, pinpointing his teammate Joseph Banda, who made sure that he does not let that ball go to waste. And again, they say, call me. Ball with uh, Malawian side. Good uh, body challenge there coming from the centre back. Malawi on the front foot here trying to find their prolific striker. That is uh, Chifundo Mpasi. No. Yellow card will be given to Miguel Chaiwa. A Zambian centre-back. 
You look at both the center backs of uh, the Zambian side have uh, yellow cards now. Now this is where they actually found him guilty of that infringement, trying to hold Chifundo Mpansi, who had beat him on the run, but uh, his arms were all over him. That is Zambia four fouls and uh, Malawi seven fouls. Can they make use of one set piece and convert it into gold? No. We wait to see that uh, height is there on the ball, but nothing uh, to trouble the Malawian side or the keeper, Eric Makungu. This man had, had everybody standing as if Yako Chitembeya is going to make a good shot at goal. The ball played in the center. That is uh, Charlie Mumba and Julius Kamwenda. I haven't seen much of uh, Dominic Kanda, one of the players that maybe the coach will perhaps want to pull out in the second half. Should he not be vital enough or effective to an extent that it is advantageous for the team? The ball uh, played long and now a through run that the keeper had to come out, Eric Makungu, to make sure that uh, Chifundo Mbasi does not grab that opportunity. No, a ball on a Malawian side. Well, the ref says it is all good and done and dusted for the first half. Let's all go as it stands right now. It is Zambia 3 and Malawi nil. No, that set piece opened up and locked the goals. Actually, should we say that it's chosen for Panda with a one two step? And he was able to beat this man, Justice Mohone, who was unable to reach for that ball. Good height, good pace of the ball so that it doesn't drop or loses its momentum. But it beats the keeper, hands down. And of course, the uh, call me part is uh, the best. <laughs> well, we know when somebody says call me. Now, this man, Lombe Mutale, unselfishly so with his weaker foot, whips it over the defense. And again, poor marking resulted into Rixin Ngambi beating Justice Mone again. Say that the pass was beautiful. The timing of the run, well executed. The goal, world class. Now, again, he makes the run. Joseph Panda tucks his body in and it just puts pressure on the keeper, that is Joseph Mone. And Mistake almost happened there coming from Onismas Chipango. It is a clear keeper's ball, but when you're a captain, sometimes you play the superhero part. But the through pass here yeah, and the lace, the power directed at goal really is so. This young man scoring his second goal of the match, that is Joseph Banda. Now give credit to the pass coming from Charlie Mumba. Statistics are in favor of Zambia, of course. If you look at the numbers, 